My name is Denise Stillwagon Leone. I'm teaching sandblasting and photo sandblasting at the studio of the Corning Museum of Glass. I've been teaching at the studio since it opened, really. When I started teaching, my focus was in the whole idea of image making. How do we make imagery on glass? Once upon a time, I was a printmaker, and then I moved on to glass. And so I started using the plate of glass after it was sandblasted to hold enamel. And so one of the things I started doing was to use to combine enameling with sandblasting because what happens is that you start to get a very graphic image and it's almost like intaglio printmaking without the paper. Our class is exploring depth and surface. So they're learning almost to draw using sandblasting and glass. In the first part of the sessions I really emphasize the technical stuff and then after the introductions I allow them the opportunity to experiment on their own or to choose their own projects. Stage blasting, which is the first assignment we do in class, really involves learning to transfer a drawing to a piece of glass that's covered with a vinyl resist. The students transfer the drawing and then they cut out the linear pattern of the drawing and remove pieces of that vinyl to expose the glass and then they begin to sandblast it. And then we're also learning photo sandblasting. It uses a light sensitive material to derive the stencils through which you sandblast. They take the black and white imagery and learn to, to transfer it to a light transmitting film. It's put into an exposure unit. Ultraviolet light develops the film. So it exposes the surface of the glass. Students can learn to create textures and imagery that would not be uh, accessible with a hand cut stencil, with a traditional stencil, like a very basic printmaking technique. You know, they start sharing these things and the people say, oh, I really like how that came out. And so there's a really wonderful communal sense, but there's also a moment of discovery. I've evolved as a teacher. It's a process that I use myself. And so I feel that, um, that I can really give something to students in that way because I, I do all of my own work. I've learned from a life of doing it that, you know, there are many ways. I like to see students come here and learn something really hard and then before they go away try to make it their own. You know, I'm always working on my own work. I construct these boxes of wood and glass which I don't just start out with a theme. I find the theme through the elements of the box. They're really personal. They're almost like my, my sketchbook. Working here has given me the opportunity to explore what other people are doing in glass. I mean, it's been a really great education for the teacher and actually to work collaboratively. It's become so much fun and I look forward to being here and I'm always excited to meet new people and I feel part of something which is outside of what I usually do. It's been beneficial for me in that way and I know it is for uh, students. I know students are thrilled to come here. Even that little bit of time working with somebody who's really devoted to what they do um, enables students to see that they could do it too. I enjoy being able to share what I know um, and this gives me that opportunity.